hey what is up people welcome to another video on my youtube channel so in this video i'm going to review this the hero extreme 160r bs6 variant <laughs> Before starting the video, I would like to thank Sai Balaji Hero Showroom, which is located at Anna Sali, Chennai, and special thanks to Mr. Prem, who is the manager of the showroom, for allowing me to review their bikes, starting from the legendary Hero Splendor Plus to the iconic Passion Pro. to the ultimate off-roading mission the expels 200 they have wide range of hero scooters and bikes in their showroom if you guys are from chennai and if you are planning to buy an hero motorcycle please do contact sai balaji motors and visit their showroom once please find their contact details in the screen as well as on the video description now let's get back to the video few years back hero launched the extreme 200s and the expels 200 The Expels 200 was an adventure motorcycle whereas the Extreme 200S was an sports fair motorcycle. Now the street fighter segment was left empty and then Hero planned to launch the Extreme 160R with the updated design and with an revised BS6 engine. Looking at the design of this motorcycle, from the initial impression it doesn't look like all other 150 to 160 cc bikes which are available in this segment because the design looks fantastic and it looks kind of futuristic as well. Right from the front to the rear you can see that the Extreme 160R is a perfect street fighter. Hero Motor Corp has given LED headlamps to this motorcycle and in terms of appearance it really looks good but when it comes to light illumination the throw of the light from this headlamps is in a narrow manner and it doesn't split up the light so if you are riding this bike inside the city the light projection will be good but if you ride this bike on a highways that too during night times i won't recommend these headlamps instead you can just fit some projector lights to this bike and you can take it to the highways and you can ride comfortably during the night times I am a big fan of these LED indicators because this is the only bike which comes with the LED indicators in this segment and the visibility of these indicators are pretty much good in daylight as well as on the night times. On the rear we have a smoked tail light and the design of this tail light is kind of unique and it adds more uh, premium look to this motorcycle. Let's turn on the speedometer. from the initial impression you can see that the speedometer is quite small and compact let's turn it on and here is the start up it says get set go all right so the information on the speedometer is quite basic and uh, you can see the tachometer here here is the speedometer it has a clock and here is the fuel meter Let's click on this button. So basically, it has the odometer, the overall kilometers, and here is trip A and trip B. So they have given two trips. That is a good thing on this motorcycle. But it misses out on a gear position indicator as well as on a shift light indicator. Hope our hero will be adding these two things to the speedometer on the future updates of the Extreme 160R. On the bottom, you can find the ABS light and the indicator light. and here is the high beam indication this is the neutral and this is the service warning and this one is the side stand indicator moving on to the switch on the handlebar it is quite basic on the right side you have a single switch this can be used as an ignition switch as well as a kill switch on the left side you can find the high beam and the low beam switch this is the hazard light switch and the indicator switch here is the horn As like all other hero motorcycles this motorcycle has also got the side stand sensor so if you try to turn the bike on with the side stand it will not turn i will show you that and this shows that the side stand sensor works well on this motorcycle the extreme 160r is powered by an 163 cc two valve single cylinder engine and this engine kicks out the max power of 15 ps and 14 newton meters of torque i can say that uh, hero has provided a 163 cc 
two valve engine whereas all other bikes in the segment comes with a four valve engine so um, hero should work on this part and uh, they should convert this into a four valve engine in the future updates but the good part is that this engine comes with fuel injection as standard and a big thumbs up for hero motocorp for providing the fuel injection as standard for this motorcycle it has got an 100 bar 80 section tire on the front and 130 bar 80 section tire on the rear both are mr of zappa tires these are long lasting tires and um, when it comes to the grip of these tires it will take some time to heat up but once it is done it just provides an enough traction for you to keep the bike under control it has got an uh, 37 mm telescopic fork on the front and a seven step adjustable rear suspension the suspension is neither uh, hard nor too soft it's kind of good for a uh, city commuting speaking about the riding ergonomics of this bike the foot pegs are positioned in such a way that your legs will rest in a uh, comfortable position and it has got a uh, 780 mm of seat height so uh, if you are tall or if you are short you can easily ride this bike so let me show you that i am 5'8 and my legs are completely planted and also you can see that the handlebar is positioned in such a way that uh, you can uh, get on to a complete uh, commuting position and you can ride this bike all day long inside the city but the only problem is the seat because uh, the seat is a bit harder if you're riding this bike inside the city you can manage that but uh, if you're planning to take this uh, bike to the highways for touring i would recommend you guys to uh, go for an aftermarket seat rather than the stock one this bike comes with a 12 liter tank capacity and uh, it will return you around 40 kmpl inside the city and if you cruise at a speed of around 70 on the highways it will return you close to 50 kmpl so with a tank full you can consider the overall riding range to be somewhere between 450 to 550 kilometers the best part about the extreme 160r is its handling the weight distribution on this bike is uh, well balanced such that uh, the bike is uh, easily maneuverable in peak-to-peak uh, -peak city traffic and as you can see I can easily filter through this traffic when it comes to ABS the extreme 160R is available only on single channel ABS unit so the ABS is available only on the front wheel when it comes to build quality of this bike I can say that it is kind of okay because when you push this bike hard you can feel some kind of vibration uh, near the tank but what I can say is that uh, for the price which you pay uh, this bike has a good build quality the Hero Extreme 160R comes in three color options one is the pearl silver white and uh, another one is the sports red and the last one is blue Extreme 160R is available in two variants one without rear disc and one with rear disc the on-road cost is 1,30,000 rupees here at Chennai for the dual disc variant and for the single disc variant it will cost you around 1,26,000 rupees so uh, it's just a uh, price difference of 4,000 rupees uh, for the uh, dual disc and the single disc variant so I would recommend you guys to go for uh, the dual disc variant when compared to the single disc one let's come to the final verdict of this video who should actually buy this bike if you are a guy who is looking for a sports commuter and if you want uh, a 160cc bike with some unique design this is the only bike which you should go for considering it as the second most or cheapest 160cc motorcycle i think that hero has uh, put up all the package together and they have uh, built a good looking and futuristic motorcycle and it really justifies the money which you pay for it if you found this video useful please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and if you are not following me on instagram please do follow me on instagram i have dropped the instagram link in the video description see you on another video till then stay tuned ride safe wear helmet take care bye bye